brother Bernie, Bernie Sanders. He is on the move. He's not just on the move. He's going to win. Uh, he's going to win. Uh, and he's going to win because he represents so much of the best of the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel and Dorothy Day and Mary McLeod Bethune and so many others who said what? We are concerned with unarmed truth and the condition of truth is always to allow suffering to speak. And if you're concerned about truth in politics, you have to push out the big money. Yeah. If you're concerned about truth in politics, you're going to have to keep track of the poor children. You're going to have to keep track of the elderly and the orphans and the widows and the working people whose wages are stagnated. And you have to keep track of the 1% who now own 42% of the wealth and in the richest nation of the world, 22% of children, 40% of black children, brown children, red children, still live in poverty as a moral disgrace and spiritually profane. That's what Brother Bernie Sanders stands for. That's why we are here. The young people have already picked up on the message. Oh, if the election could be held right now and only those who voted would have to be 25 or younger, he'd be president at the moment. The older folk that need to wake up. Are you concerned about the decrepit schools? Are you concerned about dilapidated housing? Are you concerned about the massive unemployment and underemployment that are not reflected in the statistics because they don't count those folk who are not looking for work or part-time workers? Are you concerned about the fact that there's trillions of dollars overseas that big bankers have and big corporations have, but they tell us they don't have enough money for schools that can educate our children. Oh, yeah. Concerned about those bankers that can get nearly every loan for three and a half years but when it comes to student loans. Oh, we could have just the same rates that the bankers yeah. have. to hit. Of course, you all know that I come from a people who've been terrorized and traumatized and stigmatized for 400 years. The vicious legacy of white supremacy that tells black people, oh, you ought to be afraid and intimidated and scared. You're less beautiful, you're less intelligent, you're less moral. And then I can hear Sly Stone saying, Stan, you've been sitting much too long. There's a permanent crease in your right and wrong. Bernie Sanders is calling for a political revolution predicated on a moral and spiritual awakening. We've got to straighten our backs up, come together across color, across class, across sexual orientation, across region. That's what Bernie Sanders' campaign is all about. Get in on the movement. Do you love working people? Do you love poor people? Do you love the declining middle class? We love rich folk too, but we can't stand greed. We can't stand avaricious activity. We can't stand injustice. The Black Lives Movement says what? Of course all lives matter, but for too long the chocolate lives haven't mattered enough. We want a focus, yes, on all lives, but it's going to be the black folk and the brown folk catching hell. When Michael Brown doing his bodies on that street, something is wrong. And it's that fire that I love with my dear brother Bernie Sanders. For 50 years, he's been a long-distance runner, but not just in a political sense. I want to end on this note. I come from a blues people. Blues has to deal with catastrophe, and in the face of catastrophe, you generate compassion, love and justice, not hatred and revenge. What I love about Bernie, B Brother Bernie is, is that he's a brother of integrity and honesty and decency. That's what we need, too. That's what we need, too. And oh, Brother Trump, Brother Trump is for real. He's got a lot of authenticity, but it's not for right. He doesn't have integrity. He's still shot through with a kind of moral constipation. <laughs> Not enough love and passion. Bernie Sanders. Oh, he allows for that compassion to flow. Of all colors, brown, red, yellow, Christians, Jews, Muslims,
gay brothers, lesbian sisters, trans. He keeps track across the board. That's what we need. That's why we are here. Thank you for being here. And we just getting started. We're going to turn this country around. Thank God for our dear brother Bernie.